Hello children, welcome back to our maths class. In previous class, we learned about similarity theorem. Here is a new theorem. Are you ready to listen a new theorem with me? Here are some images. Can you guess the name of a new theorem which you are going to learn today? Have a look on it. Yes, you are right. It is nothing but a Pythagoras theorem. Now I have a small demonstration on Pythagoras statement. Here I have a triangle X, Y, Z. So for each side I made it as a square shape. Right? So this is A square and this is B square. So now you might have a doubt why I have written it as a A square. You know what is the by the area of the square side into side so let me consider one side of this square is a so this is a square and this is b square right so now this a square i made it into a small pieces of the same measurement for my convenience so now i removed the b square and What does it shows the square on the hypotenuse side is sum of the square on the other two sides. So I removed the two small squares and I added into hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse side is longest side and those two sides will be the smallest sides compared to hypotenuse side. So finally our statement is that the square on the hypotenuse side is equal to sum of the squares on the other two sides. Application of the Pythagoras theorem is that it helps us to find the heights and the distance of a building and also it helps us to find the length of the slope. It also helps us for physical construction, woodworking, so on. Here is the statement of the Pythagoras theorem. In a rectangle to triangle, the square on the hypotenuse side is equal to sum of the square on the other two sides which we have learned in our demonstration class. So, I am going to consider the triangle A, B, C. A, B, C. Right? Here, and the A is 90 degree. Okay? So, what is my data? In a triangle A, B, C. And the A is 90 degree. And what I have to prove, the square on the hypotenuse side is nothing but sum of the square on the other two sides. So, the side which is exactly opposite to 90 degree is called as a hypotenuse side. Therefore, B C square is equal to A B square plus A C square. Right? So, that structure I have to draw. AM perpendicular on BC. Okay. So draw AM perpendicular on BC. So now I am going to take out a triangle ABC and ABM. Before our construction, I had only one triangle that is ABC. But after the construction, I had two more triangles that is ABM and ACM. Now I am going to take out the original triangle ABC and the triangle ABM in a triangle ABC and triangle ABM. Here angle A is equal to angle M both are 90 degree because of data and construction angle A is equal to angle M 90 degree because of data and construction and again angle B is equal to angle B because of common angle. Angle B is equal to angle B because of common angle. So when two angles of one triangle is equal to corresponding two angles of another triangle then those two triangles are said to be similar. Let me give you an example. Triangle ABC and in a triangle P Q R. So angle A and angle C and angle B angle R. See, angle A angle C in a triangle ABC 
is equal to angle P, angle Q in a triangle PQR. Then those two triangles are said to be equal, so similar. Therefore, in the same way, in a triangle, both the triangles, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ABM because of both are equi-angular triangle. Equi-angular triangles. So now I have to take the corresponding properties. I have proved that those two triangles are similar. So I am going to take out the corresponding properties in the shape of L. This is for my convenience. You also can, we can prove the Pythagoras theorem in 300 days. So I have chosen one among those. So the corresponding properties is that I have to take the L shape AB divided by BM again ulta L BC divided by AB. AB divided by BM is equal to BC divided by AB. This is because of AA criteria. Right? So, now if I do the cross multiplication, AB into AB, AB square, again BM into BC. This will be our equation. Now, this is our equation 1. So, similarly, I am going to take out the original triangle and another right side small triangle that is ACM. So, in a triangle, ABC and triangle ACM. As we have proved in an equation 1, here also I have some properties. See, angle A is equal to angle M. Both are 90 degree because of data on the construction. Angle A is equal to angle M is equal to 90 degree because of data and construction. As I told you, in equation by square, we are still solving in equation 1. Again, angle C is equal to angle C because both are common angle. So, similarly, therefore, triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle A, C, M because of equi-angular triangles. Right? So, I am going to take out the corresponding properties that is because of A criteria like this. Again, ulta L, A, C divided by M, C. Again, reverse process, B, C divided by A, C. A, C divided by M, C is equal to B, C divided by A, C. This is because of A, A. Criteria. Now I have to do the cross multiplication, right? So AC into AC, AC square again, MC into BC. This will be my equation 2. I take equation 1 and 2 by adding equation 1 and 2. While adding equation 1 and 2, we have to add the LHS separately and the RHS separately. So here, AB square plus AC square is equal to BM into BC plus MC into BC. Here BC, BC is common. Again, the remaining term will be inside the bracket. Again, here BM plus MC can be written as BC. So, BC into BC, BC square. Hence, it is proved. This is what we have to prove. So, children, quickly I will revise the theorem once again. Here is the data in a triangle ABC and A is 90 degree and what I have Because of common angle. 
then those two triangles are similar because both are equivalent triangles. So now I am going to take out the corresponding properties of A criteria. See, A B square A B into A B A B square is equal to B M into B C. This will be my equation one. So similarly, in a triangle A B C and A C M, I get equation two. While adding equation one and two, I get the final proof. Thank you.